And today we have another whiskey on my cask, and not just the whiskey. The whiskey is called Project X from Glen Morangie. Yes, and it is a an atypical whiskey for Glen Morangie because it says made for mixing. Single malt Scotch whiskey, 40% ABV, and yeah, made for mixing. This is a not a whiskey to be savored neat, so they say, and yeah, just to be mixed. And I have had oh, there are some yeah, recommendations how to try it. I've already tried. Um, I've already written read somewhere else how to drink it. But here they give you a, a few hints of how you should enjoy it. But there are no rules. They say it, it goes well with pretty much all the lemonades you like. The first one is Glamorangi X Peach. And it's uh, 50, 5 CL X by Glamorangi and 7.5 CL peached, Peach Ice Tea. And with crushed ice. Then we have Glamorangi X Tonic with premium tonic water. That's what I have here. And yeah, highball glass, crushed ice, Glamour NGX tonic, okay. Uh, sangria, uh, Glamour NGX, lime juice, pineapple juice, sparkling lemonade, okay. And I will try two of my lemonades or tonic waters. I have one spicy ginger from Sir Thomas Henry and also uh, a bitter lemon from Sir Thomas Henry and the, uh, the, the tonic water, the, the normal tonic water, Mediterranean tonic water, it says, um, is from Fever Tree. But before we do that, um, I'm going to do exactly what they don't say I should do is I'm going to try it neat. And by the way, um, this video, this is not the bottle I got from uh, the sponsor, but we got sponsored one bottle from Glamorangi for this video, just to give you a, a little heads up. The whiskey is matured in ex bourbon casks, like all whiskies from Glenmorangie are. And uh, then we have a finish in, what was it, fresh? I want to say, and in new charred American um, oak barrels, so virgin oak, extremely strong. And that's probably why they say they don't want it to be savored neat because it will probably be too oaky and too intense and extreme in one direction. Oh yes, very, very oaky. So they went for the, the full oak, but it's still, it's still like a very strong bourbon character. Mm -hmm. You might have this in, in different different Scotch whiskies. That's not out of the extraordinary. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah, it's very oak heavy, very cask heavy. Mm. Uh, even a little bit dry. And I would even say not extraordinary for a Scotch whiskey. So it, you might as well have it as a Scotch whiskey. Ah, now here comes the sweetness, the uh, vanilla, and a little bit of tannins from the wood as well. So, yeah, it's a very, very strong and intense one sided whiskey. Very atypical for Glen Morangy. And that's probably why they don't want you to try it neat. You have almost nothing of the distillery character left of that uh, tropical fruit. There is a, a hint of it, but not as present as in all the other Glenmorangies. And the more you get into it, you, the more you realize, yeah, there is a, a Glenmorangie behind that very strong cask. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't fit um, very well into the oh, oh, mm, 
second sip is really it's getting a little into the very oaky little bit of bitter note here ah first of all ice cubes Here, not the the most elegant behind that chair. Mm -hmm. And in the end, I'm filling it up with my tonic water. Kind of a a whiskey tonic now, and Glenmorang G X tonic. Did I say anything else? Yeah, I'm missing half an orange wheel. Mm -hmm. Very botanical. Very very fresh. But not as special as I would expect from a Scotch whiskey. So it's it's far less intense than a, a, a neatly savored, let's say, Glen Morangi. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Compared to it, neat. It's uh, much more balanced. Yeah. But still, you feel the glam rangy X in it. That's why they made it so intense. Because in a in a drink with a filler, you re reduce the intensity of the whiskey a lot. So it still has some of the flavor from the whiskey left, combined with the fizziness, the refreshingness, and the um, yeah, herby nature and sweet nature of the tonic water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's nice. It feels like a. It feels like a gin tonic. Without the, the heaps and heaps of grass and hay in it. So let's try it. How, how it f combines with a little bit of a what is it? A bitter, bitter lemon. A bit of a tonic water, bitter lemon. First of all, we need the Glen Morangi. Mm -hmm. And now we have the bitter lemon. A little bit of more, more Glen Morangi than you're supposed to. But I guess the Glen Morangy will taste the, like the, the good part of the, the drink. Okay. Smells like the bitter lemon and pure. Not much of the Glen Morangy left. Oh. Mmm. It's a mixture. But it doesn't work as well as the, the normal tonic water. It's a very strange and complicated mixture. Mm. Oh, it's, it's, um, oh, it it's ad adds up in the bitterness. And unfortunately not in a good way. The tonic one was really good. But this one is just, it adds up to the bitterness combined with the oakiness from the, from the whiskey is just a, a heavy drink, not at all refreshing. Mm -hmm. I like the tonic one better. Oh, that works quite well. Mm. The tonic one is just 
I have a slight bitter note, a little bit of a grassy note, sweet note, that oaky note from the whiskey, vanilla note from the whiskey, also a little bit of a caramel note, sweet note from the from the whiskey. Pretty good. Doesn't work quite well with the with the bitter lemon for some reason. Let's let's try the uh, the spicy ginger. If that works well. well first of all, we need a whiskey. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little bit more whiskey again. I'm not quite sure if I've tried the spicy ginger in, in pure yet. Mm -hmm. But smells like like a, a normal tonic water with different flavor. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I like this one. You have the, it's somehow very smooth and round at the beginning. Then it comes on refreshing. Now it has a little bit of a spicy glow to it, and everything is just underlined with that that oaky Glenmorangie goodness, I would say. So it it really feels like a uh, a whiskey whiskey with a, a lot of touch to it, a lot of kick with um, freshness, fizziness. It's good, but it still doesn't come up, come close to the the tonic water. Plus, I'm not that of a fan of ginger, so that's a bit of a maybe that's better than I I'm telling you right now because I I'm not that of a fan of ginger. Mm. And the spicy ginger does have a good of a spicy touch to it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So the Glenmorangie GX tonic is um, a very good competitor to the to the gin tonic. For everybody who doesn't like the yeah the heaps and heaps of herbs that are in the in the gin, so yeah, that's a good replacement for a refreshing drink that you might also enjoy during the summertime. So yeah. Have a look at your Glenmorin GX. Maybe I'll do another video with the uh, peach iced tea or the sangria one. Because, um, yeah, the one that was inside the little booklet was the good one. And the others just didn't fit that well into it. Also, it says you can try it with uh, your own lemonade or your mm, with Coke. And, yeah, I don't know. Have a try. And if you've tried some of that please write it down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.